progress. Different cells have different functions. Here you need to name the cells that carry out each function. Choose from the list. Red blood cell, root hair cell, palisade cell, neuron, ciliate cell. Here, moves mucus up through the airways. It's ciliated cell. Absorbs water from the soil, root hair cell. Makes food for photosynthesis, is palisade cell. Diagram shows an animal cell. You need to label the parts A, B, C and D in section A. So A is cell membrane, B cytoplasm, C nucleus, D mitochondria. In the B, you need to describe two ways you can tell that this is an animal cell and not a plant cell. You can see that there is no cell wall or a vacuole. So it does not have a cell wall or sub vacuole. This diagram shows a plant cell. Label parts A to E. A is chloroplast, B cell wall, C nucleus, D cell membrane, and E mitochondria. The next, you need to name the cell part to its function. The correct one for the first one is cell wall. Cell wall holds the cell in shape. Cell membrane controls what goes in and out of the cell. Whereas chloroplast is where photosynthesis takes place. And mitochondria is the place where Energy is released from nutrients. A nucleus controls all the activities of the cell. Bragram shows a specialized cell from the human body. What's the name of this cell? It's a neuron. And the function of this cell is to transmit electrical impulses. Describe how the cell is adapted to carry out its function. It has a long axon that allows the impulses to travel long distances very quickly. Name the system in the human body that this cell is part of. It's a nervous system. These sentences are about the way the cells are grouped together in complex organisms. Copy and complete each sentence. Choose from the list. Here we have words cell, tissue, organ and organ system. In a complex organism such as human or plant, similar cells are grouped together to form a tissue. The stomach is an example of an organ. The heart and blood vessels are all part of the same organ system.